All right, all right, all right. A very good morning, Elfa Mai, for any other family. We're Kingsman, Kalales, Paul TV on YouTube. And now, we're going to for you on Eddie Amaya. Latest news African football, the local game, the court of your house. Latest news about from now, Eddie Abro, the BAK. So, you have a positive news. And then, you have a boy, local football, and a Kingsman, Kalales, Paul TV on YouTube. The BAK, it's me, Eddie Bremer. And then, the latest. And I did bring my for cut up on the house. Latest transfers, no? And I know you didn't mean you know, it's me, Abraham. No, but you know, YouTube, like a subscribe if I mind. No, subscribe if you have it. Now, don't mind that one. What's me about the man? Snap here, you let this video store my pet. That was when you be here. I'm a subscriber that I'm a movie video. You see, but I must say, you know, 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 and then the best video be able to 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 be able so it tells you how big this club is. This club is running on a transfer budget this season of eight million dollars. Eight million dollars. That's their budget for transfer. And the budget for running the entire season. Their budget for running for transfers just to be able to bring in quality players into their team. Into a team in mobile, they went to the Senegalese League and bought the best player for six hundred thousand dollars. Heavy. They bought our best left back, I do wish you to provide the assist. And yeah, no, they brought in a very solid coach, Wanji Confederation. And this coach also had a list of top players from the African contingent and also brought them along. And you could see that um, <laughs> the level in terms of their budget, their operating rate, and everything is extremely high. So, when you have this opposition, Anna is very good because it helps you to really understand your team to help the new coach also get to know the players better and to afford every player opportunity to play in the, uh, if you look at our first game uh, we played very very well we played very very well unfortunately i think the concentration on some parts uh, during the latter stages you know it cost him a considerably very two goals but they set up very well the, a strong team yes we set it up with a very strong team but say uh, who the players it took one and i saw the players called precision now, one map I'm at all the players and also one participate here. And yeah, it doesn't really help for you to get a fair assessment of every player in camp. Because sometimes players do have to move to a break, but you want to stretch him to the full length to make sure the player will be on a normal day. Now, how many minutes of solid action will be to provide their mommy? Uh, is this player reliable? Can we depend on this player? Can we depend on this player? But I can't say when I'm used to in my personal opinion, I think we have the best squad in the Ghana Premier League, no doubt. And initially, in the meeting, there were a lot of arguments. Say people thought some some of our players are not quality enough, and the other players from other teams that are better than our players. I believe so, but where, from the little experience I have, okay, there are certain players who are something for the position. Maybe we don't regard them that much, but take these players. And put them in some of these clubs here of our players. And I trust me, say they are going to be the best players in those clubs. And I think we have several examples. And we all know say Omar Abashu came to Asante Kotoko. Me, the first that I watched him in our Kotoko, that then that's when I mean we are not part of management and all that. I was really impressed, but he fell out. And I'll call Karela after the last season, Omar Abashu was the best player in Karela. Our last season with Augustin Okra. Uh, we didn't get that much of him. Uh, Barreto saw a lot of him. Barreto saw a lot of him. Support the Senegal training. As one said, that Barreto didn't need a lot of pre personal training. Even Barreto Bain even said that uh, because Nukra was one of the best players in the Ghana, really, not even Ghana, but in Africa, because he saw something special in him. But we still couldn't get the best out of him. Nukra called between last season. Nukra was virtually the best player. We also had Nabila in Asante Kotoko. We had Nekofa and Nabila by the year management recommended by uh, Coach Maxwell. And Nabila came in. Um, couldn't play to the level I didn't expect it. He went to the team last season and he was super. It, that is the level of Asante Kotoko. 
c'est vous entendez belle année une fille qui bat Ghana non there was like a conference room and there was a big screen there every single player we had to watch the player again do full analysis not only us as management person I make a coach say do has already you know really need the grading come on so you had a fair idea of what was going on and everything to make sure that we were taking a very bold decision Sebi old players who have decided to stay you know, there was justification for every player to stay but that doesn't mean say when you come and you are playing a top level player you don't give every player a single opportunity to also justify himself whether the player is ready for the season or not and can we say one thing about football club you have players who really start at the start of the season and for example typical you know some something like last season so last season the starting season as a coupon was on fire but i'm telling you that isaac wasn't one of our players who had the best of preseasons because you too quiet about the team my team started preparation i was in uh, england with gazali and the team in the started preparation you know he was warming up and i wore covid vaccine just to travel to dubai covid vaccine and working in a crime to about dubai you know, he was a bit off for about two or three days before later he warmed up in and started playing but no crowd no, he was not sharp the isaac upon that i knew you know before coming to court he was not that sharp but you started the Ghana and Amwaku was on top. Joseph Amwaku was super during the preseason. And okay, the last match I a boy in Adako Jache before the start of the season, he was on top. He was a very nice goal. So everybody was talking about Joseph Amwaku, Joseph Amwaku. And we management, we, we had very high hopes of Joseph Amwaku. But when we started the season, we realized that a phantom had my Zekopon. Isaac was on fire for about three or four games, unfortunately. And Isaac cried. Isaac cried and then stepped in in Fege. It's a very match against uh, Ken Pfizer. He lose the game, you know. In Fege scored. And then Embella came in against out to you. Embella started warming up. Embella started warming up. But then, all this one, you know, uh, we a match against the Bianni Ghostars. Uh. Now, Max Olajiman. And Apple were like second defenders to Ghani and Mubari. And Ghani had injuries here and there, injuries here and there. So mostly one of these guys was slotting and slotting and slotting. Until Max had my boy against House of Folk, I think first half, and then Nisuchin Kakan is Sani Ade. But the latter stages of the league, Maxwell came in. And to the point, he said, the goal that won as the Ghana Premier League was called by Maxwell in Obuasi, 1 1 against high school. So it talks to the dynamics of every player. Trust me, right? For example, I've heard that we are gifting. I think by we have shown that it's really a target of us. But um, this time around, we've gone ahead to really put in right measures um, to make sure say we've been provide kits and everything for them to make to to set the tone for the preparation of it. And in commodity day, we saw course there might be few changes because in the USA technical team, you know. There's been a few changes here and there. We have moved up to Ghazali up. Uh, he's now with the first team and the rest. So there might be few changes that we're also going through. But in now, so it boils down to uh, helping the club to financially grow. Who say? Say, I can't say a club should grow financially. Yeah, yeah it depends on several factors. Uh, me, I believe that that's Ante Kotoko should get to the point that any of the yearly budget is about $10 million, which is not coming from somebody's pocket, but it's coming from the establishment of Santa Cotto, are raising it home to that level. Because then, Abasa, you can give enough funding to several areas of this club. All right. But we have a structure that's always the first team is paramount. And so, boom, as management, maybe you come in with your fresh ideas and the rest, but when you get in, and we are trying to, especially with this season, uh, we, we are fully run the club as a financially independent club. And we realize that when the revenues are coming in, the demands from the first team is extremely high. And to also satisfy the fans and all that, and we also push a lot of revenue there. But this time around, we are balancing the books. We uh, said very soon, you be home essentially. This is our third year, and it's something that uh, we are come as a pass for Asante Kotoko. We are not done yet. Uh, there are maybe a few individuals that uh, uh, we might see joining the technical team. And that area is a very key. The video analysis area is a very key area for us. Initially, Nona 
uh, we thought that once a, where Insta as any viewer, it is self-explanatory. Like you don't sometimes even need a course to understand. Obviously, she gave her mind all these areas. But we also believe that it is better you have a proper video analyst whose full-time job is always assess the team doing training and also doing matches and also has fully assess opponent teams any other. So it's one of the key areas that uh, we are going to strengthen our team.